Hi, this is Julia Bell, and welcome to IPv6 Notes 3, Combining Rules 1 and 2, and Prefix Notation. In Part 2 of this series, we learned about Rule 1 and Rule 2. Rule 1 had you remove the leading zeros, and Rule 2 had you removing entire segments that had all zeros in it. Now we're going to combine those two for the best of both worlds. Let's look. This address is all zeros, so that can simply be written as two colons. Definitely the best of all worlds. Very short address. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hextets of all zeros. Those can be written as double colon. When I combine rule one with rule two, rule two is the one that says you can remove all of these and do a double colon. Rule one says the leading zeros. So down here I would not include zero, zero, zero. I would only say one. So this entire address comes down to double colon one. And that's it. Here's some more examples of combination of using rules 1 and 2. Let's look at the first one. F, F, 0, 2, colon, 3, 4, 5, 6 entire hextets that I can sum up by using a second colon. So F, E, 0, 2, colon, colon. I can remove the leading zeros here and just simply put a 1. So this address comes down to FF02 colon colon 1. Wow, so much easier to read. This address, the second one, FC00 colon. I can remove the leading three zeros there, go to a colon. Alpha000 and a colon. Remove the leading zero there and go to B00 colon. I can remove this entire hextet by adding a second colon. Remove the zero there, 527 colon. Remove the leading zero there, 127 colon. And two leading zeros there we can remove, alpha, beta. Let's skip down here. 2001 colon. I can, there's three and here's two. The RFC says that you should remove the segment of hextets where there are the most of them together. There's three here and two here, so I'm going to go with summarizing on this side. So I go 2001 colon colon A B C, D, colon. Now these I can reduce to a single zero. One, two, three, four. Remember you can only use the double colon one time within an address. This address I see, three down here. So 2001 colon D, B, eight, colon. Alpha, 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 colon. Remove those three, so one colon. A second colon here, because I'm going to leave out these three hextets. And then I can leave out this one for one, zero, zero. So my address is now 2001 colon DB8 colon alpha, 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 colon, one, double colon, 100 much easier to read. Let's talk about prefix notation. Notice the example we've given here of 2001 colon ODB8 colon 4As colon 1111 colon and then all zeros. This first section, these first 1, 2, 3, 4 sets of hextets are considered the prefix linked. What we used to call in IP4 the network portion. 
Now, it's a little different now, but we can simplistically think of it that way. The last hextads are actually going to be the interface ID. You might have remembered this as being host ID portion. You get 64 bits for just the individual interfaces. A single host in IP version 6 may have more than one address, so that's why we now call it the interface address versus the host address. Using the rules we learned earlier, we can also reduce this address to 2001 colon db8 colon Alpha, 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 colon, one, two, three, four ones, colon, and then a second colon. Unlike IP version 4, you can use a string of all zeros or all ones. In our case, all Fs. Those are no longer off limits as they were with IP version 4.